It's another Monday here with Teacher Jenny. Join me for another topic. This time, we're going to talk about reference angle of an angle. A reference angle is an angle which is created out from the positive or the negative x-axis and the terminal side of the given angle. So if you are going to look for um, a reference angle, you have to make sure that uh, aside from it is formed out from the x-axis and the terminal side of the angle, your angle will also be an acute angle, meaning to say the angle measures between 0 degrees to 90 degrees. Let's say, for example, we have 47 degrees as an angle. If we are going to draw that one on a Cartesian plane, this will be somewhat our 47 degrees. And since we wanted to look for the reference angle of that one, notice that the 47 degrees is in standard position. Of course, it will be connected to the positive x-axis here. And in this manner, if you try to go back to the definition of the reference angle, reference angle is at a positive acute angle which is formed out from the x-axis and the terminal side of the angle. So if you try to look at this, we have our x-axis here and we have also the terminal side of the angle that somehow formed that particular angle which we are considering as a reference angle. So this one here is also the angle itself and the reference angle. So basically once your angle is located on the first quadrant, our reference angle for that one is going to be e equal to the angle itself. Let us try out our negative angle. So if we have a negative angle, we may go for plotting that one right away. And we always consider that this one is our zero. Once we move, once we have a negative angle, we move or rotate our terminal side count clockwise direction. So from here, this will be our negative 90 degrees, negative 180 degrees, and this is negative 270 degrees. So which means this will be our negative 360 degrees as well. Since this is negative 324, it would be correct to say that that will be located somewhere here. And our angle created is going to be from the positive x-axis up to this terminal side. Because we always start at the positive x-axis for the standard position. And then finding a reference angle, our reference angle here is this one. And that should be positive. So, if we wanted to look for this value of the reference angle here, we are on the first quadrant, so we would know that the reference angle is equal to the, the, the angle itself. Now, the angle that we're talking here is going to be the coterminal angle of the given angle. So, since that's negative, we are going to look for a positive coterminal angle by simply having this angle added with 360 degrees so that we can find our coterminal. Coterminal angle for that one is 36 degrees. Automatic, this will be our angle to be considered. And since we are on quadrant 1, quadrant 1 reference angle is equal to the angle itself. So the measure of this angle is 36 degrees. So let us now go for finding the reference angle of 110 degrees. And if we may plot, if we have a positive angle there from the 0 degree here, moving counter clockwise, this will be our positive 90 degrees, and this is our positive 180 degrees. So since that is only 110 degrees, it would be right for us to say that that is somewhere in here. And the angle created there is going to be this angle. We have that as 110 degrees. And since our angle is located on the second quadrant, our reference angle here will be this one here. Because again, reference angle, it will be an angle created with the x-axis and the terminal side of our angle. So this one is our reference angle. So to find a measure of that one, all we have to do is to simply do 180 
degrees minus 110 degrees because this is in quadrant 2. Quadrant 2, reference angle for quadrant 2 is going to be always 180 degrees minus the angle itself. So this will be now our reference angle. We have that as equal to 70 degrees. So that will be our uh, reference angle. We are to find our reference angle for the negative 225. So since that is negative, we are going to plot that one uh, using counterclockwise direction on our Cartesian plane. So this is again 0 degrees and then we have negative 90 degrees negative 180 degrees negative 270 degrees and this one is negative 360 degrees so plotting negative 225 degrees that would be somewhere uh, somewhere in here and the angle created there is from the x-axis up to this terminal side this is what we have for the negative 225 degrees. And then again, our reference angle is going to be from the X here or from the terminal side to the X because we are, we are uh, considering reference angle as always positive. So this will be our reference angle. And since our um, angle the terminal angle, I mean the terminal side of the angle is located on the second quadrant. So we are to consider that finding our reference angle here is going to be 180 degrees minus the angle. This angle should be the positive angle. So since this is negative, we are going to look for our coterminal angle. So we have negative 225 degrees. We're adding that one with at 360 degrees to get our coterminal angle. This one is equal to 135 degrees. And from there, we are now going to look for the reference angle. Reference angle will be equal to, and by the way, 135 degrees. This is what we have for the 135 degrees. And then going back to the reference angle, we have that as 180 degrees minus our positive coterminal angle which is 135 degrees this will be equal to 45 degrees that will be our reference angle let us now find our, our reference angle for the positive 227 degrees so all we have to do is to simply um, plot that one and know the location of that one whether what quadrant is it located so we have the 227 that's positive so this is zero degrees and then we have the 90 degrees 180 we're moving counterclockwise because that is positive so since we have 227 our terminal side will be somewhere in here that lies on the third quadrant and of course this one is the angle created by that rotation, which is 227 degrees. And the reference angle for that one is going to be this one here, which is connected to the x-axis and the terminal side. This is the reference angle. So since this is on quadrant 3, under quadrant 3, to find our reference angle for that one, we have that as the angle minus uh, 180 degrees. The angle referring here is going to be positive. So reference angle now is going to be equal to the angle which is 227 minus, minus 180 degrees. That will be equal to a 47 degrees. That will be our reference angle. And then let's now move to the next one. So we have find a reference angle of negative 124 degrees and then we are going to plot that one so we have a negative 90 here negative 180 degrees negative 270 degrees and then plotting negative 124 that will be around 
this um, quadrant. So again, this will be formed out from the positive x-axis to the terminal side. This is where we have our one, negative 124 degrees. Now, since this is negative, all we have to do is to find the coterminal angle for this one. So we have negative 124 degrees plus 360 degrees. That will be equal to 8,236 degrees. This is our positive coterminal angle. So finding now the reference angle for that one, since again, this is on the third quadrant, reference angle will be equal to the angle minus 180 degrees. Our reference will be equal to the angle, which is the coterminal angle, so 236 degrees, minus 180 degrees, which is equal to 56 degrees. That will be our reference angle, which is on this part here. Next, we are now on finding the reference angle of 279 degrees. Locating that angle, we have here 0 degrees, um, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees. And of course, our 279 might be somewhere here. So this will be the angle created. And we have that as 279 degrees. Our reference angle for this one is going to be this terminal side up to the x-axis here. So we have that as a reference angle. Computing for that one, since this is on quadrant 4, quadrant 4 reference angle will always be equal to 360 degrees minus the angle. So finding now the reference angle, we have 360 degrees minus 279 degrees. Our reference angle for this one is going to be 81 degrees. This is now our reference angle. So continuing with this one, we have our negative angle. So plotting that one since this is 0 degrees and once we rotate to the clockwise direction because that's negative, this will be somehow somehow where our location for the negative 31 degrees. Now, for the reference angle, we have this also, this angle also, only that we are different on the direction because this angle, sh this terminal side should be moving counterclockwise direction because reference angle are going to be always positive. So this one is the reference angle. Since this measures 31 degrees, automatic, this one is 31 degrees as well. So on the quadrant 4, if you got there a negative angle, automatically drop down your negative sign and that will be our reference angle. Or you may go through with the hassle of finding the coterminal angle for that one. So since we have negative 31 degrees, adding 360 degrees to that one to find a coterminal angle, we have that as 329 degrees. And we are on quadrant 4, so reference angle will be 360 degrees minus the angle. So reference angle is 360 degrees minus the, the coterminal angle, which is 329 degrees. That will be also the same. That's equal to 31 degrees. Next, let's go to having our radian measure. So you've got a freedom uh, to choose on this one, whether you are going to simply plot that one using the concept of the radians. So let's say if this is our Cartesian plane, so we've got the zero here or the two pi, and then we have here the pi over two. We have this one as the pi, and then we have this as the three pi over two. Now, since we're having there pi over 6, locating our quadrant where it is located, it's going to be somewhat like dividing our um, 
our entire pie into six equal parts. So most likely, this is going to be the look of it. We will be dividing this into three, the first 90. And then this one will be also a three. Because we have a divisor here, which is a six. So automatic, our entire pie will be divided into six equal parts. Assuming that these are equal. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And according to that one, it is pi over 6. So meaning to say, this is similar as once we say 1 over 6 times a pi. So literally, what we're occupying here is this portion of a pi only. And this is where we have our pi over 6. So we know already that that is on quadrant 1. So automatic reference angle will also be the same as the angle itself which is pi over 6. Now the other way of doing that one is going through the hassle of converting the pi over 6 or the radian here into a degree measure in which we have that multiplied to 180 degrees times the I mean over the pi. In this manner we can cancel this and that and then we also cancel common factor between 6 and 180 degrees so we have 6 which will this become 1 and 180 degrees divided by 6 that's at 30 so we have that one as 30 degrees finding our reference angle that will be also at 30 degrees now you may go through with the hassle again of converting this one into a radian but of course we know the answer because that is already the pi over 6 which is 30 degrees but I'll show you how to convert that one into radian measure so we have pi over 180 degrees that will be multiplied to the reference angle so that we can cancel the degree and then cancel common so this one will become one while this one will become six our reference angle is going to be pi over six so that's it that is how you are going to find your reference angle in of the angle in different quadrants so again Please do like and share this video and hit the notification bell and subscribe. Thank you.